three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. And hello, this is Black Lodge. I am the business advisor. I come to you every single morning. We talk about business and taxes and politics. Everything that really affects our lives. We keep on going. We keep on discussing. We keep on trying to learn together about what's happening out there in this world. I tell you, this morning, I got up and I was reading my Twitter feed. I started to feel depressed. Because everybody is untrusting anymore if you listen to politics or you read the comments on twitter or on social media or even what you hear in the news you, you become discouraged after a bit and because we hear it every single day it keeps going on and on and on yesterday i i said what what happened in 22 it gets moved right over into 23 and we're still in the same spot we don't have any answers yet we don't have anything to protect us with from the government and so we have this never ending battle that we face every day on all of this information and data that is being thrust at us every single moment of the day when i was a kid we didn't have this much data every single day what we had was uh, what was it, 30 minutes? Yeah, I think it was 30 minutes of the news every single night. Walter Cronkite came on, gave the news, and that was it. And we went out and played. We ate our dinner. We watched another television show. We watched My Favorite Martian. I mean, if, <laughs> I just aged myself on how old I am. People are playing My Favorite Martian. What in the world was that? Go to Tubi. It's there. You can watch the whole series of I, of My Favorite Martian. But but you understand what I'm saying is that we're bombarded every single day with all the all of this information. And I think that probably it's about time that you and I we start limiting our time that we're on social media, that we're listening to the news. I remember when I first uh, came to South Carolina to visit my, my mom when she was still alive and her husband, they would sit there all day long watching Fox News. And I said, this is not healthy. You guys have got to get out. This is not healthy being bombarded all day long with news information. I mean, how much can we take? How much can we absorb until finally we start repeating everything else, everything that's being said out there by all of this news outlets? Well, it's time that we stop that. And we need to start investing in our own lives. And we need to invest in the amount of education you and I are receiving every single year. I'm constantly trying to learn. Right now I have to do 60 hours uh, for being certified as a, as, a, as a mediator, a national mediator. So I have to do that. I'm working on 60 hours right now. I just finished 25 hours for California uh, tax practitioner license. So... You know, I'm constantly learning. I'm trying to educate in not just other people through my podcast, but also myself. One of the ways that I found that keeps me organized is by keeping a journal. And now you guys are probably saying, oh, no, we don't want to do any journals. Well, let me tell you something. Since I have done a journal, I'm more organized. I can recall conversations that I have had with with uh, account with uh, uh, staff or with uh, clients, because every conversation I have, I record it in the date and the time that I had that conversation. If I do a mediation, I keep my notes in there so that I can refer back to it if I ever need to. If I am planning for my budget for the year, that's where I do it, and I can refer back to it for that year. And every year, I get a new journal. Now, my journal is about the size of a small book. And it's leather bound, and it's really good and organized. I love it. I get it at at Office Depot every single year. Same one every year. First, I got this great big journal when I first started doing this, and it was just too much because I felt like I had to fill up every line on that page. With a smaller journal, 
you keep your thoughts more organized and straightforward and you're more focused. I was reading a really good article today about keeping a journal. And it was written by Gretchen Rubin, who's a, who's a blogger and who keeps a, keeps a journal herself. And she wrote down some points of what's good. And I practiced the majority of this already, but it's good to, to rehear or hear it again, I should say. And she says that the number one, clarify your reason. What do you hope to accomplish by keeping a journal? Clarity will help you stick with the habit. Decide whether you want to reflect on your day-to-day life, document a trans- trans- uh, transition or a transaction, know yourself better, capture thoughts and insights, practice gratitude, or something else. Write down this reason somewhere you'll see it often. Number two was set expectations. When building your journal keeping habit, be specific about what you expect from yourself. At what time of day do you plan to write? For how long will your journal be in the form of lists or doodles or handwritten pages? Do you expect to record your thoughts every day or or once a week? Now, number three was choose your tools. Will you use a yellow legal pad, a leather-bound notebook, which is what I use, a Google Doc file or other phone? I tell you what I have found. With my journal, if I write it down, it means more to me. It will always be in my mind because I wrote it down. It seems as though that you organize your thoughts better when you write down what you want to journal. Number four, look to the past. If you if you have tired, well, I'm sorry, if you've tried keeping a journal and didn't manage to maintain it in the past, what factors prevented you from reaching your aim? Write them down. By identifying what hasn't worked for you, you can anticipate hurdles and plan workarounds. Number five was start small, begin with a one-sentence entry. Next time, try three sentences and then a paragraph. Before you know it, you may be writing a page a day. I write a page a day, and sometimes two pages, depending on what I'm doing that day. Number six, make it a joy. Put your writing time with an element of pleasure. I do mine with coffee. To me, that's the most pleasurable time. In fact, I usually do it right before I do this podcast in the morning. (coughs) Excuse me. (coughs) And I enjoy having my coffee. I sit down, not at my desk, but I sit down at my kitchen table and I write. Number seven, begin now. This week, better yet today, write your first journal entry. So I thought that was pretty good. And... I practice all of those because I feel that writing down my thoughts and my decision making, I even do my prayers. I write down what I'm praying for. And as God answers them, I check them off and I thank him for it. It reminds me that I need to thank him for what he has done. And that's one of the biggest things of journal is that it organizes everything that you want to be organized. Your finances, your budgeting, your prayer lists, your conversations. For me, mediation, I write down my conversations I have with the other parties. And that's where I form the decision of what they've agreed to. I write down everything. I even write down, if I hear something good that I like, I write it down. I, 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 listen, I read something the other day, and it came from a rabbi. I wrote it down. And it said, oh, what did it say? It said, you can train, you can raise your children, and you can spoil your grandchildren. If you spoil your children, 
you will be raising your grandchildren. And I thought, my gosh, that is so profound because I see this so much when I'm doing family mediation and when there's friction and disputes between family members, especially when it comes to grandparents not having rights to see their grandchildren. You can see what happened most of the time. And so when I hear these thoughts, I write it down, and I go back to it and I read. I read my journals from, from days ago or weeks ago or years ago. And just so that I remember exactly what happened at that time, it better formulates me into a better person. It educates me. If I learn something that day in some type of seminar or some type of online uh, thing that's going on, I write it down. That's my journal. I write it down. I can refer back to it. I can use it as content for when I'm writing about whatever that subject may be that I am attending. It's so very important to journal. Start keeping a journal today. Go to Home Depot. Not Home Depot. Office Depot. Yeah, Office Depot. Mm -hmm. And buy a journal. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be the best journal there. It can be just a small book. Start writing today. And remember, just start with one sentence. What affected you that day or what your thought process was for that day? Now, for me, I write every single day. And I can write and write. And I have to limit myself to formulate my thought process of what I want to get on that page. And I have to cut off, cut out a lot of words because I can go on and on and on. That's why I've had to limit this podcast for 15 minutes. When I used to do my podcast. I used to do 30, almost an hour sometimes. 15 minutes keeps us more confined in the thought process and in the, in, in, the, in the conversation that you and I are having today. Get a journal. Start doing it today. Listen, if you need any help, if you have any business questions or or uh, business issues that you would like to discuss and you would like to do it confidentially, you can book a 30-minute consultation or a 60-minute consultation with me by just going to my website at www.lodge-co.com. It's written down below in the, in, the, in the foundation of this podcast. You'll see it. But if you need help, if you need to talk to someone, if you need to bounce anything off, Book a 30 or 60 minute con uh, conversation with me. And we can go through the process. Today's a beautiful day. Forget about all the politics that's out there. Today they're electing a new Speaker of the House, which is really cumbersome. Really, uh, I don't know. It's one of those situations where I don't really like the person that's going to be the Speaker of the House. But you know what? I thought, you know, I might not like him, but I love what I do. And I got to get back to work. Just like all of us. We have to get back to work. This is our first real full day of work in 2023. Let's get to it. But right now, let's just listen to some jazz. I'm going to finish up my cup of coffee. God bless all of you. Glad that you're here. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.